So there's a native package manager for Windows now coming from Microsoft. Too bad it'll never be anything close to what a package manager is on Linux. <laughs> hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Bill Gates critic, Gardner. So last year at the Windows Build Summit, Microsoft unveiled Winget. Winget is the native Windows package manager. That's what they're calling it anyway. They cited the fact that, you know, developers have wanted a package manager on Windows for many years, indirectly admitting that GUIs suck and downloading random executables from the web is probably not a good idea. There are already multiple third-party package managers for Windows. Chocolatey comes to mind. Now I want chocolate. And while those are pretty cool, a native package manager uh, would be even cooler. Now, Winget is not without its share of Bill's signature controversy salad dressing. The developer of another package manager for Windows called AppGet says that Microsoft employees approached him about what seemed like a job offer. And when he started talking to them about uh, the ideas that he had, uh, they went off and made Winget instead. The suspiciously similar name of Winget. Ugh, typical Microsoft. Currently, Winget supports searching for packages in the repository, listing what is already installed, and finally updating and deleting uh, packages that are installed. The basic features that you would want from a package manager. It'll also allow you to manage applications that were installed through the Microsoft Store, Ugh. as well as uh, packages in the Add or Remove Programs Manager. And what's cool is Winget doesn't even need an uh, enterprise-grade copy of Windows. You can just install it through the Windows Store. Oh, every time I say Windows Store, oh, stop saying Windows Store. Wait, you have to install it through the Windows? Stop saying Windows. Wait a minute. So you have to install Winget? It's not pre-installed? What good is a package manager if it's not pre-installed? So yeah, in, in what is t another typically Microsoft move, uh, you have to install your package manager from the Windows Store. I'm not gonna shudder this time. That is ridiculous, that is absurd to me. The fact of the matter is they call this a package manager, uh, but that's not what it is at all. And this is a CLI tool for managing applications that are installed on your computer that has a repository of applications that you can install. Windows was not built in a way to accommodate this kind of software delivery. Windows is a disparate mishmash of executables and MSI files and Windows universal platform applications and None of it has any kind of centralized way of being maintained. And so this is just kind of a stopgap measure that approximates the functionality of something like apt or Pac-Man. And for legacy reasons, this is never going to be close to what is available on a Linux distro. As I said at the beginning of this video, I mean, Winget, even as it matures and grows and gains features, it is just never going to come close. At least not until Microsoft takes absolute control over the Windows ecosystem and enforces a standard way of installing applications. But at that point, is it even Windows anymore? Bit of a shorter video. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, I, I'd love to know what you think about this. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I want to give a special shout out to Matt Dancer, one of my top tier Singularity members over on Patreon. Uh, I, without my Patreon supporters, I would not be able to do this. I've been able to do three videos a week now uh, for the last couple of weeks because of my Patreon supporters. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to help the show, if you want to see uh, what we do here grow, head over to Patreon, become a channel member. Either way, you're supporting the show and helping it grow. And I could not give you enough thanks for that. I think that's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.